Clam chowder. Sounds yummy, right? Well, what if we told you that a five century old clam is out there? Would you still eat it? Hello and welcome to Demystify Daily. Today we're gonna to tell you about a 507 year old clam, which is by all accounts, the oldest living being on the globe. And this is gonna be a crazy ride. So before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And let's not delay. Let's go ahead and talk about the clam that lived when da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa. Life seems like an irreplaceable gift and we all try to hang around as long as we can. The longest life on earth that a human has lived was 122 years. And it was John Calment, a French woman who passed away in 1997 at 122 years old in five months. Now that's impressive. But suppose if any human exceeds a century of living, you can imagine the quality of life that they'd probably have. Because a person can rarely walk past 100 years old. And the main reasons we, or other species, tend to die sooner are physiological, and it's due to the cruel world in which we're surrounded by. However, among all of this, a clam has won the lottery and has been around for more than five centuries. And this is a truly mind-blowing fact because according to the experts, the longest a creature can live is only 200 years. But this clam lived three times as long as science said it could. So let's dig into the whereabouts of this eternal clam. A team of Bangor University researchers discovered Ming the clam off the coast of Iceland at a depth of 262 feet or 80 meters. The researchers actually wanted to look at clamshell growth lines as part of a project to show how the climate has changed over the millennium. Now, growth lines, you may wonder. Let's look in detail at a clam shell. So, distinct black lines mark the shell surface or ridges that represent winter rest periods. These ridges, like the rings on a tree, can be counted to estimate the age of a clam. Now, clams grow during warm weather seasons, April through October. So if you count the darkest rings, you'll find one ring for each year. And the larger the band, the larger the clam that year. So just like you can estimate how old a tree is by counting its number of rings after cutting the trunk, likewise, a clam shell can be told its age by the number of rings it has. And the team began counting the rings and initially concluded that the clam they had discovered was 405 years old. Arctica Islandica is its scientific name, but is more commonly known as quahog. This species of clam has been found to live for very long periods, many of which are over 200 years old. And according to its age, the year of the birth of the clam can be estimated at 1601. 1601 was the time of the great Ming dynasty of China from 1368 to 1644. Therefore, then scientists came up with the name Ming for the clam. Ironically, the clam died as soon as the experts discovered it. According to climate scientist Paul Butler from the Bangor University of United Kingdom, this animal was one of about 200 that were captured alive on the Icelandic shelf in 2006. When the 200 clams were frozen on board to be transported home, they were all killed in the process. And they didn't discover Ming's age until they returned to the lab and examined its shell under a microscope. The clam's death, first reported in 2007, took on a life of its own after researchers from the United Kingdom's Bangor University, led by James Scowers, reanalyzed its age and announced the 507-year estimate. A team of researchers from around the world collected the shells in 2013 to conduct a more thorough study. 
And the researchers concluded during this study that the clam was actually 100 years older than what the previous research team examined in 2006, making the clam a total of 507 years old and effectively the oldest living being known to mankind at the time. And the 100-year age difference resulted from a 2007 study of a section of Ming's shell in which some of the bands were so narrow that they couldn't be separated from each other. And according to Scours, a marine geologist, the new age was confirmed by radiocarbon dating and is pretty much without error, she says. Looking at the past, you will realize that Ming the Clam was around the time when Leonardo da Vinci was working on the famous Mona Lisa painting. When smallpox entered the world and the Black Death struck London for the third time. It was around when the Ming Dynasty of China ruled and Queen Elizabeth took the throne. Ming lived when Shakespeare dominated the drama industry. The Clam has seen it all. The world's transition from a real to a digital age. And these are only a few events Ming the Clam has lived through. It's a natural to think of Ming as a giant or at least bigger in size than its peers are. Nevertheless, they don't age like that. When Scourus and Butler dredged up the small live clam, they found what happened to be a reg they found what appeared to be a regular quahog, a creature small enough to fit in the palm of their hand. And according to Madeline Met, a PhD student at Iowa State University in Ames, who is also researching these clams, she said, they don't get much bigger per year after a certain age. So if you have a large clam, you can't always tell if it's 100 or 300 years old because the size difference is so small. And you may be wondering, how is such a long life possible? And are there other older clams than Ming? Now, according to Scours, the 200 clams were sampled represent a small fraction of the world's total clam population. And as a result, even if Ming was the oldest animal we knew, the chances of it being the oldest quahog in the ocean depths are infinitely small. Experts at the University of Bangor believe that this species could live for over 600 years and that there are likely even older specimens waiting to be discovered. More recent research has revealed that the secret to quahog clam longevity is a slow cell replacement process. So if we look at the anatomy of quahogs, we're able to understand how these species live unapologetically long lives. And that's because ocean quahogs are part of a large group of shells known as bivalves. Most bivalves are filter feeders, sucking in water via tube-like siphons that you can see in the photo, the two holes surrounded by darker pink. Bivalves can safely take food particles and oxygen from the water while lying on the seafloor or buried in sand or mud. Ming was discovered in the deep waters around Iceland, but it's also found in British and Irish waters, though it does not live as long in those areas. Our island's waters are warmer than those surrounding Iceland, which is located just south of the Arctic Circle. Warm water contains less dissolved oxygen than cold water, so the ocean quahog must work harder to obtain oxygen and thus has a faster metabolism. A faster metabolism means it grows faster, but animals with fast metabolisms do not live as long. The ocean quahog was, has a slower metabolism in the colder water surrounding Iceland, so it grows, well, slowly. And it may live for longer than 507 years. And scientists simply haven't discovered an older one yet. Now, other bivalve mollusks can also live for a long time. Giant clams can grow to be 4 feet long, or 1.2 meters, and can live for up to 100 years. They have tiny plant cells in their tissues that photosynthesize, converting sunlight energy into energy for the clam. And this is how they grow to be so large. The geoduck, which lives in the coastal waters of Western Canada and the United States, has a lifespan of around 164 years. 
Now it's more commonly called gooey duck and has large meaty siphons that are popular amongst humans for consumption. Well, Ming the clam is not the one that has lived the longest. And according to experts, other beings on the globe are even older than Ming the clam. And we hope the scientists don't kill them when they're found. Anyways, Ming the clam only helps Source and Butler, the scientists who counted its lines in estimating the effects of climate change on Earth. So I ask you the question, would you like to live for 500 years and witness the climate shenanigans? Let us know in the comments section below. And we hope you found the discovery story of Ming the Clam interesting. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section and join us once again for more fascinating facts and stories here at Demystified Daily. Until then, please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get you the latest updates as soon as they're out. Thanks so much and take care.